Currently, over 128 million objects larger than a millimeter are orbiting the Earth, transforming the space around it into a junkyard. These objects range from inactive satellites to flakes of paint, but even a millimeter of cosmic junk traveling at extremely high speeds can be catastrophic to many satellites that connect us around the world. Indeed, a fleck of paint was enough to damage a window on the International Space Station in 2016. So where does all this space junk come from? Why is space junk dangerous? And most importantly, are we doing anything about it? We have been sending satellites to space for over 60 years. So far, we have sent over 11,140 satellites in Earth's orbit. Out of these, 3,372 satellites are currently active. The rest are inactively floating in our orbit. The number of satellites has increased drastically over the past few years. In 2020 alone, 1,283 satellites were launched into lower Earth orbit. This is the highest number of satellite launches in a year to date. Now the low Earth orbit is about to become even more crowded. Over the next few decades, SpaceX is hoping to send a constellation of 42,000 satellites. Amazon's Project Quipper, OneWeb Corporation, China's Hongyan, and Canada's Telesat are also planning on placing thousands of satellites of their own in the Earth's orbit. All that space traffic can lead to a disaster. The first documented collision involving space debris happened in 1996 when a French satellite was struck and damaged by debris from a French rocket that had exploded a decade before. In 2009, a U.S. commercial satellite, Iridium-33, collided with an inactive Russian communications satellite, Cosmos-2251, at a speed of 22,300 miles per hour. The collision created 2,300 pieces of space shrapnel, which now pose a threat to other spacecraft in low Earth orbit. This was the first known case of two satellites colliding catastrophically in space. Now with tens of thousands of satellites traveling around 17,000 miles per hour, the chances of these satellites getting close to each other are a lot higher. Collisions between high-speed objects in orbit can create thousands of pieces of debris. This could result in a chain reaction where more and more objects collide and create new space junk in the process, to the point where Earth's orbit becomes unusable. The Kessler Syndrome, coined by NASA scientist Donald Kessler, describes this phenomenon. How can we stop this orbital junk generating chain reaction? Dragging parts of space junk down into the Earth's atmosphere, where the frictional heat of re-entry will burn them away, could help. In 2018, a satellite called Remove Debris was able to successfully deploy a net around a dummy satellite simulating a technology that might one day capture space-borne garbage. In another technique, the satellite used its onboard harpoon to puncture a target panel that's about five feet away. The European Space Agency awarded a contract to ClearSpace, a Swiss startup, to retrieve a 220-pound piece of rocket debris that had been orbiting Earth since 2013. Scheduled for 2025, this mission will utilize four robotic arms to capture the debris. However, these methods are only useful for larger pieces of junk orbiting Earth. There isn't a way for us to pick up smaller pieces of debris such as bits of paint and metal. All we can do is wait for them to re-enter Earth's atmosphere naturally. If nothing changes and the amount of debris continues to grow, they will pose a risk to future space missions. It's only a matter of time before more collisions occur, making it nearly impossible to clean up the low Earth orbit. Without innovative solutions, we'll have to rely on a network of ground and satellite-based observatories to watch and monitor the skies.